video begins, I'd like to actually talk to you guys about something that I haven't really brought up in a while. Uh, at the very beginning of part three, I went ahead and talked to these guys, and as you guys know, just there's one more than there used to be. Basically, um, if you go over here to this green tent, and you walk over here, you'll actually be able to find the fourth one. And if you do that, you'll actually get access to them singing. Like this. It's nice to rest your eyes and maybe go outside. Grab a book and get some air. So, what a so yeah, uh, I haven't. I don't know if I haven't heard of the full song, but. It stops as soon as you move. Anyway, now that we're done with that, that's actually not the only thing that you can use to change the background song. Let's go to the other one. In Inkwell Isle 3, there are a pair of instruments. One is a mono monotrome, and the other one is a metronome, I believe. Do not tell me otherwise. Anyway, if you talk to this guy, you will get a nice, smooth, piece of music that you can listen to and it will play for as long as you're in world three to change it back to the original song you want to go over and talk to this guy right here um and you can also talk to that guy to reset the song anyway now that we're done with that let's get on with the actual intro hey everybody it is me lava captain 2000 here and welcome back to cuphead 10 parts in and we are this far in the last episode, we did a lot. We knocked out the final mausoleum, obtaining our last super art, the giant ghost, and we also knocked out three levels. We knocked out Calamaria, Warner Warman, and we also knocked out the final run and gun level in uh, Rugged Ridge, collecting the last five coins obtained in levels. In this episode, we are going to be going to where everything else seems to lead, the theater. Uh, we are going to be going in and fighting Sally Stage Flight. So, without further ado, let us kick things off. A brawl is surely brewing. Here goes. Oh. Wow. Alright, I have successfully accidentally hurt myself. Whoa! Okay, that's kind of amusing. Whoa! I'm glad I actually hit you. Whoa! Okay, hi. Lightning. Oh, darn it. Oh. <laughs> wow. First try. For being the last fight of the world, it actually doesn't seem that bad. <laughs> Definitely not as bad as Dr. Cal's robot. Alright, so first things first. Smoke Dash will make this, I think Smoke Dash might make this a bit easier. Actually, no, no, I'm not going to keep my twin hearts. However, I am going to pull out, um, the lobber. 
And you know what, since I haven't pulled it out... Actually, no, I'm going to pull out a chaser. So yeah, that's our setup. Wobber does not work, guys. Wobber does not work at all. Um... I guess I'll try roundabout. Uh, I'll bring the ch spread shot since the uh, third phase is going to be slightly annoying. Sorry, I'm just seeing what fits right now. This doesn't seem like a bad fight at all. Wow! Oh, darn it. Ow. Oh, had no right to have done that. Oh, of course, that sucks. All right, face five. This is a quite... Wow, that was... Sad. That actually was kind of sad. I think so. Oh, And with that, that knocks out all of the contracts. And, oh, there's. Uh, the Phantom Express. Oh, that's. R I forgot about that. The Phantom Express. It looks like there should be a coin here. The Phantom Express. Alright then, before we go into this fight, I have been expressly told to bring Perry Sugar. Let's hope that works. Alright.
Oh no. Oh! Okay, I got very lucky. Oh, I died to a ghost. Alright, the Phantom Exp I'm I'm not getting better, guys, because so far, up till this point, none of the bosses have been that challenging. So, we got through all but one phase. Yeah, Perry Sugar helps a lot. <laughs> Alright, so you know how every single boss in, like, this game that's actually challenging has those minions that just you just want to beat to death? I'm three turns in, and I can already tell the ghosts in phase three are those guys. I'm progressively getting worse. <laughs> guys, help. I found the one phase that's starting to annoy me. Alright, boys. Oh, darn it. I'm close to die. Eh. Not close, but hey, I'm getting there. I'm probably not gonna make it, but hey, never know. Just need to be careful. Being careful, he says. Yet I do that. This entire fight is basically, can you plan ahead? That's literally how this fight works. Alright. Oh, I was watching the fire and I missed it. Darn it. I was watching the fire spouts, but I missed the flame ring. Alright. Let's party! I wonder if Spud Chuddy exits has to work. There we go. All of World 3 done. really good. Yeah, no, Perry Sugar helped a lot in that fight. And with that, we have officially collected the Phantom Express All Contract, and... Well, hell. Let's just enter. And this is the Devil's Casino. Last coin of the game. And let's go ahead and walk over. And let's go ahead and get our last um, uh, item in the game. I'm surprised it's been this short of a playthrough. I mean, seriously. We are out of stock. We have got every item in the game. So yeah, short episode, it's only going to be 15 minutes, and we finished all of World 3. Surprised I took uh, C on Sally, that wasn't a hard fight. 
In all honesty, the Phantom Express was a bit more challenging than it. It amazes me that we are only 10 parts into this. I was expecting this to be a much longer playthrough than it actually is. We're done with World 3. Ironically, I think World 2 took longer, even though it had way less to do, because we did so much more in such a shorter time period. Uh, the last two parts, because I'm assuming this is going to be a 12 parter, is going to be me taking down the final two contracts, uh, one contract per video, unless one takes longer than the other. So yeah, spoiler alert. Uh, thank you so much to everybody for watching. I am Love Academy 2000, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye. Gotta wait for the actual ending music. Bye, guys.